the light heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, he still owns the record for the longest title reign in UFC history, nearly 2,500 days. Anderson the Spider Silva, and I guess DC with no mandatory retirement age, this guy might go forever. Anderson Silva is one of the greatest fighters of all time. One of the guys that when you think of mixed martial arts and you think of the UFC, you immediately think of the Spider. You think of the highlight reel, winning the belt from Rich Franklin, the up kick on Vitor Belfort, the knee against Stefan Bonner, the bobbing and weaving against Forrest Griffin. He has a highlight reel a mile long, one of the most fantastic martial artists the sport has ever seen. And still proving to be competitive in his mid-40s. That is the goal again tonight for one of the best to ever do it, Anderson the Spider Silva. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. Silva is 15 years the elder. He is one inch taller. He will have a one inch reach advantage. Now here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 38 wins, 14 losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Irvine, California, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight world champion, Quinton Rampage Jackson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 34 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Anderson, the Spider Silva! All right, grant the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch him up. You ready? So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand over. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. 
Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Ooh, what a punch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, nice. Head off the center line, slips the punch. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, big shot lands. There by Silva. Right, oh, nice right hand, Jones. And they separate. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. He loaded up on that right hand, too. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Trying to stay in this fight. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Silva. Oh, big punch land. Back and forth we go here. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Back to his feet. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Nice punch lands over the top. He closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. A swing and a miss by Silva lands flush. Oh, big knee! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just misses with a left hook there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Beautiful body kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, nice straight there by Silva. Final seconds of round one. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Silva. Round two is next. All right, what a round it was for him. A lot of head kicks landed, scrambled eggs on the other side. We'll see if he can recover. He does a great job of hiding it. He gives you no tell. 
He doesn't show you when he's coming. That's why those kicks have continued to land, even though he's done it multiple times. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice hook. Oh, big left. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Don't back up. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Punch coming, it's blocked. Try to establish that jab. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Big elbow. Straight right hand, no good. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, good head movement there, nice slip. I would call on the fight stats here. These numbers unofficial, but they are strong. 51 total strikes have landed for Anderson Silva. Well, not the most efficient effort we have seen, landing with 29% accuracy against Anderson Silva. All right, he'll engage in a single tie. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish the Oh, he might be out. Just misses there with the left. A oh, little single collar tie there. Good stick. Beautiful body just lands right under the elbow. there and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up and when the hands go up he will then change the target down low trying to find finishes. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. If your opponent has you in the clinch Pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Right hook to the head block. 
Can't take many of those. You better check. All right, single collar tie now. Oh! He's done. He's done. Oh, big left hook there. What a fight so far. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. and pace, but you don't have to worry about... Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Silva's strike attempt there is blocked. here by Silva. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Trying to recover full guard there. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to the feet now. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. That's how you finish a fight. Oh, big left hook there. Slips to avoid that left. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, he might be out. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Caught that kick there. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them come. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched up. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 42 seconds of round number three. You're going to the winner by knockout, Quinton Rampage Jackson! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver 
on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.